Now today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a very important drink. I call this my post-party detox shake. This is the perfect drink to prepare for yourself after a big night of eating and drinking to your heart's desire, and then maybe the next day you feel a little bloated and kind of not quite right. You know, I think we've all been there, right? Now, this list of ingredients might seem long or a little intimidating or even a little strange, but you just gotta trust me, it's so worth it. All of these ingredients will help you get back to your rejuvenated best self. Okay, so we're starting with one cup of brewed dandelion root tea. You always wanna start with your liquids anytime you blend anything. It makes the blending process so much smoother and easier. Next, one cup of water, apple cider vinegar about a tablespoon or so. Next, we're gonna raid the frozen produce section of our grocery store by picking up some frozen pineapple. You can also use fresh. I like using frozen. Half a cup, uh, maybe one or two more. Throw those in, adds great flavor as well. Half a cup of frozen cranberries. Believe it or not, you can find these year round, not just at Thanksgiving. Next, we want frozen asparagus. Just grab about four or five spears, break them up. You can usually find frozen asparagus in any grocery store. Next, we want a frozen banana. I peel and freeze these so that they're ready to go anytime I wanna make a shake. It's actually looking really beautiful, don't you think? Handful of parsley. Fantastic for detoxifying. And actually a pretty mild flavor when compared to all these other ingredients. You'll be surprised. The last ingredient, two pitted dates. Now this is actually an optional ingredient. It doesn't really detoxify, it just helps with the flavor. But I love dates. They're loaded with minerals and fiber and they're so delicious. That's it, it's ready to go. Hey, we're filming. <laughs> Do you wanna come join me? I love to come join you. Okay, this is the post-party detox shake. Oh, I need that after last night. Uh-oh, what'd you do last night? Uh, you went to bed early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a cup ready to go with a nice pink straw for you. Thank you. Let me move some of this stuff over. You always pink straw. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. I do. I love fuchsia. I know you've already told everybody what's in it, and I have no idea. Yes, but is it you have... Like, is it gonna taste like medicine? You actually had this before, and you liked it. You just didn't know what it was. I just handed it to you. Because I was drunk? <laughs> no, because you trust me. Oh, that's refreshing and delicious. Are you just saying that for the camera? No, that's really good. So what is this supposed to do? It helps to detoxify the body and help you rid excess bloat, watery tension after having a big meal or vacation or night out or maybe just drinks. Are you saying that after I have a drink, I have excess bloat the next morning? Yeah, well, most of us do. <laughs> you know, I haven't tried this yet. I'm dying to try it. Can I try it? I just want to, all right, I'll just. No, here, Okay. this <laughs> All right, give a stir. See? That's pretty tasty, I like it. It's not missing anything, is it? Well, that pineapple really adds a nice punch. Yep. And the banana adds a nice creaminess. There's definitely an herbal thing going on. I think it's from that dandelion root tea. Wait, what? Yeah, we use dandelion root tea too. Why? That really helps Why did shed the excess water. Oh. Dandelion it's known for that. Root tea sheds excess water. In fact, when I was a fitness competitor, I used to drink dandelion root tea leading up to the days that I'd go on stage. It really helped tighten up, get rid of that excess water. Because when you're a competitor, you want to shed yourself of all water so you can see the definition and the muscles and the. Get all veiny and yeah. muscular and all yeah. that good stuff. So appealing. <laughs> and they're orange and you paint yourself orange. I know, but you stayed with me through I, all that. I can't I believe it. If you decide to give this shake a try, please let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions about any of the ingredients or any other ingredients you'd like to use, I'd love to hear it. Oh, he's stealing my shake. I think I'm going to make another round. And if you'd like to watch more videos, get more tips and recipes, please click right here. And if you haven't done so already, please click right here to subscribe.